In this video, we're going to look at the graphs of modulus f of x and also f of modulus x and see how they are different. For the graph of y is equal to mod y modulus of f of x, negative values of f of x are made positive by reflecting them in the x-axis. So if you reflect in the x-axis, remember that means you're reflecting vertically. Uh, for the graph of y is equal to f of modulus x, the negative x values produce the same results as the corresponding positive x values. So the graph of y equal, for, so for the graph of y equals f of x, uh, for x greater than or equal to zero, it is reflected in the y-axis for the negative values. So at this time, it would be reflected that way. Okay, we're going to look at an example here on how we do this. Uh, so the first example says, uh, draw draw the graphs of y is equal to um, modulus of f of x and f of modulus of x for f of x is equal to and a is um, f of x is equal to 5x minus 5 so we're going to do this one first so I'm going to pause the video draw this out first and then we'll we'll figure out how we can actually uh, uh, draw, draw our y is equal to modulus of f of x or f of modulus of x Okay, so we've drawn uh, the graph of f of x, which is equal to 5x minus 5. So if you have a look at it, the gradient is 5 and the intercept is minus 5. So it crosses the y-axis at minus 5. And if you have a gradient of 5, that means for every 1 I go across, I go up 5. So I've gone up across 1 and I've gone up 5. So it's not really drawn to scale, but you can see step across 1 and I've gone up 5 units. So that's my graph. What we now have to draw is the graph of uh, y is equal to modulus of f of x so it's going to be the same as this except any bits which are underneath the x-axis are going to get flipped up so this bit here which is underneath is going to flip up if you can imagine it's going to flip up and it's going to be going along this line here so it's going to cross a positive five on the y-axis so it starts at the one here and it's going to go up and through positive five so i'm going to pause the video and do that now so here you can see it still hits at this point but then anything that was underneath the x-axis has been flipped up, so it's been uh, reflected on your x-axis. Okay, uh, next one we're going to do is f of modulus of x. So f of modulus of x, go back to the original graph, and then any bits which are on the left-hand side of the graph, so here, they disappear, and we just reflect this part of it. Okay, so this bit here is going to get reflected uh, over, so it'll be... Uh, the y-axis will be a line of symmetry effectively and there we have it uh, it has been reflected so this section is reflected over this direction and that's our resulting graph then of y is equal to f of modulus of x for part b we have f of x equal to x squared minus 4x first of all we're going to do a sketch of it i know it's a positive uh, graph so it's going to be a u-shaped graph uh, but then we want to see where it crosses so i'm just going to put zero equal to x squared minus 4x, let's see what we get. Uh, so you can factorize, take an x outside, of, x outside of bracket, leaving you x minus 4, which means it crosses at x equals 0 or x equals 4. So if I draw my f of x graph, it itself looks like this, and it's crossing at 0 and it's crossing at 4. So that's y is equal to f of x. We can then draw the other ones. So y is equal to modulus of f of x, basically the same graph. So the way I like to do these ones, I'll draw my curve, I'll do a wee bit in dash to show that that's underneath. And that bit that's dashed then gets flipped up. So that's y is equal to modulus of f of x. I'm squeezing this in. This very last one then we have got is y is equal to uh, f of modulus of x, which means this section here, if I can shade it in, this bit here of the original graph just gets reflected horizontally. So it's going to give us, I think it's going to give us a sort of W sort of shape. Uh, yep, so if we draw our axis out, 0 and 4, and that point 4 is going to be reflected over here to be minus 4 as well. So our graph looks like that on the right-hand side, and then the left-hand side, that's what it looks like. So you can see we have a sort of weird W sort of shape going on. So that's our three graphs done. The last example says for us to sketch the graphs of modulus e of x and y is equal to e to the modulus of x. All right, I would have no idea how to do this without drawing the sketch of my regular exponential graph e to the x. So if you sketch it, 
you've got your horizontal axes, your vertical axes. I'll give it a wee bit of bit underneath there as well. And that's the general shape of your y is equal to e to the x graph. So if we want to then uh, do y is equal to uh, e to the x modulus of e to the x, then this whole section, any section which is underneath the graph is going to get reflected vertically. But we have nothing underneath the graph, so it's just going to be exactly the same as it was. So if we just draw this one very quickly, we're going to have the same graph as before. So very roughly, that's what it looks like. So it's exactly the same graph. So again, that is just because there's nothing underneath the graph to be reflected vertically. Uh, so that is it. Okay, the last one we've got to do for this video is we've got to draw y is equal to e to the modulus of x. Now what e to the modulus of x does is any bit which is the bit that's to the right gets reflected over to the left. So we're just going to draw out the right hand side of the original graph. Let's draw out the right hand side of the original graph. There's my axes. And again, I'm not using a ruler here. And that's one. And that was my original graph. And then that would just be reflected out the other side. So very roughly, that's what it looks like. So there we have it. We have our three graphs. I'm just going to highlight those, uh, the entire thing for them. So there's your, your first one with its equation highlighted as well. Your second one then with its equation highlighted. And the third one. And a lovely yellow and that is us sorted okay so very easy uh, so just go back over the uh, thing so so if we go back to the start of this basically here this is the most important bit for the graph of for the graph of y is equal to modulus f of x that's where you reflect uh, vertically so any bits which are underneath get reflected up and for this graph uh, the results the right hand side then gets reflected over to the left as well, and that is it.